here. I think I'm just going to cut like that and like that. Now, if you're worried, you could put a little bit of glue under there just to keep everything nailed down, but that's pretty much it so long as you're happy with your ribbon and you can keep pulling and tweaking until it sits how you want it to sit. You could always whack it with the iron too, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's that. Um, so we've done the ribbon, the string, the rickrack, and then just the thin ribbon. The only one I haven't done with you is, um, I didn't do this one, but this string is exactly the same as how we did this. These are the same. The stitching in here is a little bit different, just so you've got some options and there's no tag top. This is just kind of, it's not really a square, it's more like a rectangle. The Christmas bauble is again the same deal and the same with the pocket. You do exactly the same. You want to add the tassel when you add the back fabric so that that gets caught in inside in the sandwich. And it is just straight cross hatch lines. All of these little dots here I've used um, a hole punch and cut out glitter vinyl. But you could do hot fix um, crystals or beads or or nothing. Or just, you know, um, get a glitter pen too sometimes. That really works. So use what you have. Use your string, use your cord, use your ribbon. Um, use whatever you've got to make it work for you, whether you use Christmas fabrics or plain fabrics. Um, use what you've got. So that's it from me.